Hi guys, I'd like to welcome you back to Josh Bell Golf. It's been a while, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. We just thought we'd have holes with my new clubs. And my new clubs are, well, I love them. The Wilson Staff CB model clubs. They're great, I love them. As you've seen the video already, how much I love them. We went down to American Golf and we got them. So it's very windy today, but we're trying to pass these clubs should be no problem. So let's go on this first hole at Oak Royal. Let's see what I do then. So 157, I'm using a six iron with this wind. Let's go. Looks like a good shot. Come on, come on, come on. Looks like it's around the green, but two. Right, left, the right hand side. It's a good shot. I'm happy with that. Let's get going. Right, so I say it's a great shot that. I mean, I'll take that every day on this hole. It doesn't look much, but it, you know, it really is intimidating, so I'll take that every day. So I've got a little chip. I've got a pitching wedge. And I just want a nice chip, really. Oh! <laughs> Well, that worked out good. That was horrendous, but that worked out brilliant. <laughs> yeah, could you believe that, guys? You know, could you believe that? But it's that time of year with the golf course. That's par. I, what a good start to the video. I, I couldn't take any more of that. The chip saved me. Yeah, the hobo chip. Whoops. Right, guys, so, I mean, why I've not been on, I know you're asking why I've not been on so much. We have done some videos this year, but really, I've had a massive break because just a break from YouTube. We've had a lot going on. Um, I know the last video I took was the Open Championship, which is a brilliant video, go and watch it. Um, but yeah, we're back now, the main thing, and uh, I've all been busy with work and that. And, uh, but we're back doing the golf videos, and it should be good, and I can't wait to put them out. You know, I enjoy doing this and yeah, it's muddy but guess what, I think, you know, I think the mud and the, you know, I think the mud and the ground conditions for this type of year, you know, I think it brings out the better player, you have to learn different type of shots, so, you know, if, the odd chance if you get that kind of shot in winter, you know what to do, if, <laughs> you know, that way I'm on the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah, that's why my cameraman doing nothing else than all the camera, you've done it again. Right, so it's the second hole. It's 330 yards today for yellows. I'm taking a five iron. I want to show the irons off. Normally I take a driver, but we want to show the irons off, so I'm taking a five iron. Thank you. Should stay there. Oh, happy with that. What a good strike. Yeah, I mean, one thing with these clubs, I've mentioned it in the videos um, where I got the clubs. You know, you can tell when they're in the middle. A bit there, a bit there, a bit there, a bit there. You know, you can tell and that was brilliant. Right, so the wind got that a bit because I've got 180 yards in. And I'm going to be taking a five iron. Well, one thing to do, let's get this on the green. Oh, that's perfect, come on. Well, I, I, even if that's a bit off, guys, even, I'm really happy still. That was a brilliant shot. Iron, only irons today. That's an excellent shot in two. I'm really happy with that. Now, let's get this put in for birdie, which is going to be a three, hopefully. Oof. That's a birdie, thank you. I'll take a birdie. Oh, definitely. Especially with irons only. I want to play around getting.
Oh, it's a 308 yards. To dry to get as close as I can. The reason why we're going off the reds is, you know, the shot tracer won't, the angle won't do it from the yellows because it's just next to the big grass part. So we're going on the red part. <laughs> Really good, but we don't know where it is. <laughs> so it's got about 100 yards left in after that fabulous shot. And in this wind to carry all the water trouble, it's really good. Thank you. I'm up with that, brilliant. Okay, so this is for Birdie. Let's try and get it in then. Oh, that's a good point, you can't argue with that. And it's a little tap in for par. Right, so there's 322 yards, par four. One of my favorite holes, this. Let's get it close. No, oh, far! Right. Right. That way. I guess it started that way, but it went that way. Right, so I've got about 50 yards. And I'm going to take a pitching wedge. To just a little pitching wedge. Reason why I'm doing that, I want to get all over all them trees, and I just wanted to set on the green. So, an easy shot, really. Thank you. That's what I wanted to do. Look at a good pot, look at a good pot. That's a good pot. Thank you. Thank you. Really good. That's a par, kill that. I'm, you know, I'm playing really well, you know. And thank you very much for watching, guys. I would like to thank you. If you've done already, please click that subscribe button. Also, please click that notification bell button to get notified every time I release a new video. Please comment down below. Please like, go mad on the likes, do all them things. What I like about these clubs, I think they're brilliant. I think they're absolutely amazing. Um, I think you know you when you've hit it out the middle, it feels butter soft. Um, I'd like to say thank you very much to Mizuno for the Mizuno clubs. They were absolutely brilliant. Uh, I loved them. I love both of them. Um, and I love these now. My new clubs, brilliant. And yeah, I'd say the feel and I'd say the workability as well with the ball, the workability really. So they're my top things about these clubs.